Hey guys, this is Fireworks Tutorial. Welcome to my review of the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery. If you guys would like to check out the Richard Solo 1200 backup battery instead, make sure to click the link on the annotation or the one in the sub bar. Okay, so we just get into the Richard Solo 1800 first of all. And what I want to mention before I start this is the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery actually comes along with a nice custom case for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. It's actually a very nice case that I would definitely want to try out, except for the fact that I don't have an iPhone. But definitely looks really nice, and it's a slider type case, and I would definitely love to try this one out. But we'll just put that aside for now. And here's the Richard Solo 1800 box itself, very nice small box. And on the side you get all the stuff that it includes in the box itself. And on the bottom just information about the Richard Solo 1800. And on the other side you actually get the compatible devices with this product. And I want to round this all up. This product works with all iPod and iPhone except for the iPod Shuffle. So any Apple device with a 30 pin connector. Pull this out. Okay. And the Richard Solo 1800 has two boxes in there. And we'll just get in the big box first. And please know that the package is actually very nicely packaged, and like mine, because I actually opened this already. So the first thing in here is actually a Apple cable to connect to your iPod. Here. And then you also get a retractable USB cable, an AC adapter, and a two USB port um, car charger. And last but definitely not least is some instruction manual as well as some questions that will get answered for you guys on here. Definitely really useful. Okay, so we we'll just put this aside for now. So basically the three main things that you need to get the Richard Solo 1800 working are these three cables. Okay, so in the smaller box is actually the product itself, the Richard Solo 1800. Okay, so here's the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery itself. To tell you guys the truth, it's a pretty big backup battery. It's about the size of the iPod Touch and a little thicker as well. And as you guys can see, it has a little mini USB port up here as well as down there. And you guys will get a light and a laser as well in this. And it's actually a really cool add-on. So how are you going to get that on is you just power this on. And when you press the button, you can also get a flashlight and a laser to shoot someone in the eye. So definitely those are a pretty nice add-on feature in case of anything happens. But, um, okay, so, so you guys can see there's a little thing for LEDs at the bottom. This is pretty much how your Richard Till 1800 is going to communicate with you. I guess that's how you'd say it. But basically the top one is actually going to shine up blue, which means that the Richard Solo is actually charging. And the second one right here, the one in the middle, is actually going to shine up green, showing that it's either this, the Richard Solo is charging or it's full of battery. If it's the green light is solid, and then it's mean as fully charged. If it's flashing, it means that it's being charged. And the bottom LED is going to be red, indicating that the Richard Solo 1800 is below 10% of battery. Okay, basically, so you're going to get the Richard Solo started and running. Is what you want to do is plug your AC adapter into your wall and get your retractable USB cable. What you want to do is plug it down here at the bottom. and plug it into your Richard Soul. And that's how you're going to get juice into the backup battery. But now a very cool feature is that this backup battery also serves as a charger. What I mean by that is, let's say we want to plug this into the backup battery. Let's say I'm going to plug my iPod into the backup battery while it's charging with the wall adapter. What's actually going to happen is the juice from the wall is actually going to go straight into your iPod or Apple device and it's going to charge your Apple device till it's at 100%. Once it's at 100%, the 
that's when the Richard Tilly 1800 is actually going to get juiced. So as you guys can see, that when you plug everything in like this, not only is the Richard Tilly 1800 getting the juice, but also your Apple device. The really nice thing about all Richard Tilly backup batteries is that it charges your Apple product like three times faster than you, it normally charges on your computer so that's really nice and really useful in case you want to go somewhere and you want to get your product all charged up I don't like the fact that you have to sit your iPod at your computer for hours just to get it 100% charging so this definitely is great another awesome thing about the 1800 is that this actually gives your Apple product iPhone or iPod at least two full charges so it's gonna give your your device more than two full charges which is absolutely amazing um this been working very well for me and definitely i give it a thumbs up if you guys would like to check it out they also have a cordless version where you just plug this full thing into your apple device if you don't like all these dangling cords personally i don't really mind it it's no problem for me and it's really no big hassle Okay, guys, so one cool thing I want to mention about the Richard Solo is that if you guys have noticed that there's actually a mini USB adapter at the top here, what that allows you to do is it allows you to plug into anything with a mini USB connector. So not only will it work with any Apple device, it will also work for anything with a mini USB adapter. So for example, I've got my Canyon camera right here. What I can actually do is plug it in to get it charging. Since it has a mini USB port here, I just plug it in. As you guys can see, this turns blue, meaning that the camera is actually being charged. So that's really one neat feature about the 1800. Okay, so that's basically my take on the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery review. If you guys would like to check out the Richard Solo 1200 backup battery review, make sure to click the annotation on this video or the link will be in the sub bar. So have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you guys in my next video.